Good evening, friends. It's Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, before we get into tonight's broadcast about the situation in Taiwan and Ukraine, I figured I would share with you just a little bit about what's going on over on our Patreon channel. We haven't talked about that in a, in a while, uh, but we have been loading up quite a few videos over on Patreon. I wanted to share some of those titles with you two days ago. Go Dark Matter, Why It Should Matter. Uh, of course, we also did Megalodon is not extinct. That's something that uh, is <laughs> well, is eye opener. Uh, Iran has a technology. It's actually a technology that we don't even know for sure what it really is. Uh, and then what's lurking beneath the ice. Now today, though, we have a very in depth look. Uh, it's loading right now, getting ready to come out. John Kennedy, secret space agreement with Nikita Khrushchev. This is something that's not been made public. And uh, we're sharing that over on our Patreon channel. And in fact, today's news broadcast is tied to that to some degree as well. We go into that on our Patreon channel and more in depth about that. Uh, but anyway, just want to share that with you for those that want to watch it in the description below this video. You can actually see the link to Patreon where you could go on there for as little as a dollar a month. You could support uh, the work we do here. It's one way that keeps this ministry going, and we greatly appreciate your help in doing so, as well as our address. If you prefer to do more, try to help us out a little bit more, uh, you can do our address on the top of the screen here. Stephen Benoon at P.O. Box. Uh, gosh, I don't even remember my own address. But anyway, it's right there at the top of the screen there. Uh, you, of course, you can visit our website to IsraeliNewsLive.org. And, uh, but I know it's, I think it's P.O. Box 156, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, 156 Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. And you can donate directly online. Uh, it's a quick, easy, fast way to do so. The video, though, that we're going to be releasing here, going to be doing a teaching on the kingdom It'll be on Danoon Institute of Biblical Research. A 30-second clip will appear here on um, uh, our Israeli News Live YouTube channel. And I think that's going to be very interesting for many of you. It has a lot to do with breaking this New World Order curse that Satan is about to bring upon us all. Uh, so I want to share that with you. Let's get right into what things are going on, though. Taiwan, uh, this here, this article here, Superior U.S. Forces Could Break China's Blockade of Taiwan. That's what the Navy commander is saying. And uh, I want to play this little clip here that the, the Washington put out about Taiwan. And then I'm going to tell you the truth of what's really going to happen. I know they've been back and forth on this issue. Uh, and again, that has changed somewhat. And I'm going to share that information with you here in just a moment. Listen in and months that our presence, posture, and exercises account for China's provocative and destabilizing behavior with a view towards guiding the situation in Western Pacific uh, towards greater stability. Uh, this is not about U.S. China. Uh, this is about what is in the interest, the best interest of Taiwan's interest specifically, and the region's interest as well. So our policy towards Taiwan has remained consistent for decades and across administrations. We remain committed to the, our one China policy. And uh, in accordance with that policy, we'll continue to fly and sail and operate where international law allows, consistent with our long-standing commitment to freedom of navigation, as you've heard us say, and that includes conducting standard air maritime transit through the, the Taiwan Strait. So we are committed. All right. So this is what the United States is saying. And of course, that's what you're supposed to believe. Wars is... I was told, reminded of again today as I was in a meeting with uh, some people there in Washington, are scripted. Everything is laid out in advance. Not too long ago, we were sharing with you about how that the U.S. would stand down when it comes to Taiwan. Then there seemed to be a change of it. Advisors to President Biden were saying to him, if we allow Taiwan to fall, uh, it's going to devastate our economy. Sure it will. Taiwan is like one of the third world's largest, you know, or something to do with the third world's third largest, not economies per se, but has that type of a global impact. China, by the way, is majorly suffering when it comes to their own economy. So getting a hold of Taiwan would only boost China's economy. 
And at the end of the day, because of what the advisors have been telling Biden, he had begun to make a different stance and being willing to actually defend Taiwan. Now, I was just told a couple of days ago in a different meeting, not the one I had today, that Taiwan, we are not, we will, well, how do I put this? President Biden has contacted the CEOs of all the companies in Taiwan and let them know their days are numbered. Remove your assets from Taiwan. We will appear to be as if we're going to defend Taiwan, but in reality, we're not going to defend Taiwan. We will defend it to some degree to, to save face, but we will allow that war to crumble in order for the Chinese to take it over. I shared with you a little while back, I believe on our Patreon channel, that slowly but surely, we are being kicked out of the Pacific region. And Japan, and of course, is in an uproar over this to start with. So none of this is looking very good, uh, to say the very least. Of course, Taiwan is warning its own red line as China's military edges ever closer. Kind of helps makes, makes me wonder, does the Taiwanese uh, leader even know that the U.S. is hanging them out to dry? I don't really know the answer to that, but that's something worth uh, looking into and, and considering for sure. Now, the other issue comes up is Russia. We get this article coming out here on the BBC, Ukraine war, Russia warns U.S. of direct military clash risk. And that's kind of interesting because if we look at what's happening in Ukraine right now, Russia seems to be losing a great deal of ground and it has all to do with American technology being funneled into the Ukraine war to Zelensky that has helped turn the tide. But again, wars are scripted, as I've been told before, and not to just look at it in the way that we perceive it to be, but they're putting these things out in the media to feed the American public and, of course, the rest of the world's population to believe that Russia is the big, big, big bad boogeyman and that, uh, you know, the U.S. is there to save the day for the Ukrainian people. But in reality, the way it's been explained is that the United States has to be brought down in order for them to achieve the new world order. Don't forget, Zelensky's been talking about all along that Ukraine is going to be big Israel. Remember that? Remember also when we put out Menachem Schneerson, the former Chabad leader, who is also believed to be the Mashiach or the Messiah of Israel, stated that they would bring down Ukraine. They would allow the Russians to think that they were liberating the former uh, parts of their country, and at the same time liberating those Ukrainians that are, that are ethnically Russian to begin with. And they would also cause the Ukrainian people to believe that they're fighting for their lives to save their nation. Menachem Schneerson was already giving you the scripted plan of the way it was going to go. And after all, why is it going this way in the first place? It's going this way because of the New World Order. Israel is going to head that new world order. Ukraine will be rebuilt as a global AI nation. And yes, it will be kind of like a second Israel. After all, practically every prime minister from Israel was from Ukraine, believe it or not, other than Netanyahu's family was from Poland. And uh, Bennett, his family also from, I forget where they're from, but not from Ukraine as far as I'm aware of. But all the other prime ministers were from Ukraine. It's kind of interesting to see how these things play out, isn't it? And of course, what do they need Russia to do? They need Russia to actually use a nuclear device on the United States to bring the U.S. down in order to achieve that New World Order plan. Now, in the process of that, what's really interesting that I wanted to share with you guys here is that it wouldn't be the first time. I have a feeling they're going to use a dirty bomb and then blame it on Russia and say that Russia used a nuke. After all, we've already had one dirty bomb that had to be uh, neutralized and moved out of New York, not once, but on multiple occasions, but more recently, just this year. But there is a possibility that there's yet another dirty bomb in New York. In fact, as a result of that, I asked about the situation of 9-11. What really happened? 
during that time when the supposed airliners crashed into the Twin Towers and brought them tumbling down and made the world, instead of looking at Saudi Arabia, as after all, it was all Saudi nationals on the airline that was supposedly hijacking the planes, right? But instead of taking down Saudi Arabia, no, we went and took down Iraq instead. Because really, the true mission was, was to get the body of Nimrod and the technology in his, in his, in his tomb. And we had to have some kind of pretext for war to pull that off. You'd have thought they'd had enough sense to put on their Iraqi nationals instead of Saudis, but they didn't. Nobody seemed to have enough brains for that. Nonetheless, one source that I know from the Pentagon was actually on the investigation of the Twin Towers. And what really troubled him was that during the investigation of what happened at the Twin Towers, they had discovered a certain type of explosive that had been used inside the Twin Towers, an explosive that only a few nations on this planet had that type of material. I was told the United States, Russia, China, and Israel were the exclusive four nations that had the technology and the capabilities to carry it out. And then I was told something more shocking than I'd ever heard. The individual who spoke on the condition of anonymity said they had to pull away from the investigation because they saw that the United States and Israel were the two leading suspects for pulling off the attack. They killed hundreds over a thousand people, what is it, over 2,000 people died on 9-11. Think about it. They'll do it again. This time they'll say Russia did it. And as a result, it'll bring about a catastrophe that will bring down this nation. That will set the world into a new world order plan. At the same time, no doubt something would end up happening to Israel or their nearabouts. And when that happens, they'll have everybody believing the Gog of Magog War or Armageddon has taken place and the world will accept it. That's how they'll end up accepting a new world order, never realizing the church took them right into it. And all the lies that have been told to our nation. Not knowing the true cooperation that's going on in the background. That cooperation we are sharing on our Patreon channel tonight. Where President John F. Kennedy and Nikita Khrushchev, the premier of the former Soviet Union, signed a secret space agreement that still goes on to this day. And everything else, as I was told, is smoke and mirrors. You know what was sad is in the meeting I was in today, it was told to me, you can't get the people to even believe what really is the truth. The governments have deceived you so much beyond anything you could ever imagine. So when we watch what happens in Ukraine, just remember, there's an agenda and they're feeding you what they want you to believe. I'm Steve Benoon. If you believe and you want to support news that will really tell you the truth, please visit our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Donate. You can donate safely online there. Or our mailing address, my name, Stephen Benoon, B-E-N-N-U-N, at P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. We thank you for your support and be watching. I'm working on a teaching message about the kingdom for Danoon Institute of Biblical Research. All that information and how you can get to Patreon and Danoon Institute of Biblical Research on YouTube will be listed in the description below. And you might want to think about that EMP shield too, by the way. And maybe I haven't spoke about that in a while, but um, I have been hearing as well that EMP strikes will be part of that strategy when they go to bring everything down. And of course, EMPShield.com, the main thing to remember is when you are buying a product, 
Uh, we'll just go straight to the cart to try to make it as easy as possible. Hopefully I've got something in there. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Don't think I do. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's just look at the vehicle one here. They have it for everything you can possibly imagine now. They have European ones as well as uh, European models as well as, uh, oh wow, they got a sale going on too. 389. Wonder why it's 409 normally. For some reason it's down, but you can save an additional $50 though when you actually enter in the INL 50 code. That's what's important. INL 50. When you apply that coupon, that'll knock that down to $339. Knocks $50 off. So if it's on your mind to get this, definitely consider that. Uh, like I said, they got it for everything, RVs, vehicles, houses, you name it. Uh, and they're great for lightning strikes as well. There's been a lot of testimonials that they've had on uh, even big companies that were spared uh, tens of thousands of dollars of lost, you know, in a home. It would be like your refrigerator, TV, etc. In fact, I had a TV destroyed by a lightning strike recently, and I didn't have the MP shield installed yet. Still don't have it installed. I really, that's my, my own fault there. I need to get that thing put on there. Uh, but it would pay for itself just from one strike like that, let alone the EMP strikes that could happen. Uh, anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. Thank you for listening. Don't forget, um, 